hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the issue with vgc service uh, whenever you are trying to start the service you got the error windows could not start the vgc service on a local computer uh, error one incorrect function let's fix it guys uh, click on ok and click on ok and just close off here the first step is to ensure vanguard is installed properly to do this you just need to uninstall the vanguard for that go to search new and type control panel click on open it select uninstall your program search for write vanguard just right click on it and select uninstall it select yes select yes again now you just need to press in keyboard f5 to refresh this page as you can see we have deleted the write vanguard now you just need to close stuff here and we need to reinstall the vanguard for that you just need to launch the valorant select the update option and install the vanguard after getting installed and you just need to restart your pc guys just to close stuff here and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not the second step is to check and set vanguard service to automatic to do this go to search menu and type services click on open it in here you just need to search for vgc service double click on it startup type set to automatic and select apply and ok for search in this now you need to right click on it and select the start the service and now it's started running guys in my case the problem has been fixed now i just double click on it and as you can see my issue has been fixed in the second step my vgc service is running now click on ok and just to close off here if this step doesn't fix your problem then let's move on to the third step guys the third step is to disable secure boot some users have reported that disabling secure boot in the BIOS can resolve Vanguard related issues. Be aware that changing BIOS settings should be done carefully. For that, you just need to enter the BIOS guys. Just go ahead and restart the PC and enter the BIOS setup. Commonly by pressing delete F2 or F10 during startup next you need to disable the secure boot find the secure boot option and disable it and then select the save changes option and exit the bios the fourth step is to ensure necessary permissions for that you just need to go to search menu type cmd right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select as yes. Now you just need to check my video description for this command used in my video just to copy and paste it one by one. This command will help you to grant necessary permissions. After finishing both the services just to stuff here. The fifth step is to perform a clean boot. For that you just need to go to search new and type msconfig. Click on open the system configuration and go to services tab and select a check mark hide all microsoft services and you just need to select a disable all option and then select apply and ok for save changes select the restart option and restart your pc and after that you can check if the problem solved or not the sixth step is to reinstall valorant if none of the above methods work try reinstalling the valorant to do this you just need to go to search new and type control panel click on open it select uninstall a program and you just need to search for valorant just right click on it and select uninstall it after uninstalling it just to close stuff here and now you just need to open up chrome search for valorant download press enter you just need to select the download game option select the download option and download the game and after downloading the game install it after getting installed and you can check if the problem solved or not 
i hope one of these steps you fixed your problem guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you